Hello YouTube, this is Navlo67 and I am bringing you a figure that I wanted to do um, right out the bat. But I would lost the accessories. So I did the unthinkable. I went out and I tracked down and found another one and bought it just so I can do the review for you guys. Um, I know some of you guys have already done review reviews for this. Um, uh, Toy Dude 101 um, does has a great review on this figure. Um, so I do recommend going checking checking out his channel, looking at that. Um, but yes, I went out. It's Cobra Commander, the leader of Cobra. Um, <laughs> I was really looking forward to this. Um, I, you know, it's all basic stuff. Boom, Cobra Commander. Not going over file card because there might be spoiler in there, and I'm trying not to spoil this stuff if I can. Um, that obviously doesn't go too well generally because um, I am a blabbermouth and I like to talk a lot. But this is the figure. Um, I want to say he was hard, hard to find, because every time I find him, I always find him in sets of, like, three and four, or nothing at all. So it's either, like, a store has four of him, or they don't have anything. Or, well, right now, they're currently, you know, there's a Walmart that's only got three, but, uh... Um, I do recommend picking this figure up just before I even start. I really like him. But let's get him out of the package, and let's take a look. And here he is out of the box. And, uh, he can actually hold most of his accessories in some way or another. Um, which is always a plus. Um, let's start out. You just have the oversized rocket launcher. Um, fire screen missile. It's kind of got a needle. Looks kind of like a surgical missile. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure why uh, they just chose this as the missile launcher, but whatever. Um, he doesn't really hold it very well at all. I'm not even going to try to bore you guys with that. Actually, yes, I will. Um, yeah. Out of all the figures who can hold their stuff, um, this is probably one of the worst ones. Because they gave him this little shoulder, so it's supposed to be able to clip onto his shoulder, but it doesn't really work. It falls down. And when he carries it, it falls over. It's not very balanced. And then he also comes with a King Cobra, appropriate for the leader of Cobra! But, um, it is kind of a cool accessory, especially since, uh, you know, there's select figures that come with it. Um, he does have... An ejection needle, uh, which he does carry pretty well, um, and he can store it. Um, he's got this little leg hole right here underneath his coat that you just snap it in. And the jacket does kind of, I mean, it does move the jacket, but it looks all right. And he does have a PDA. Um, very important if you've seen the movie, you know what the PDA is for. Um, he can hold it if you ta if you have him holding it up by the antenna, but that's really about it. And he does come with that Cobra Commander Sonic Blaster from the 25th Anniversary toy line. I think he came with this all the way back in the 80s, too. Um, so that's kind of... A, I'm not sure if that was a nod or if they just didn't know what to give him. Um, I don't really use this one for this figure. I like to hunt around. I like to give him um, just one of the spare pulse pistols that the characters do carry. Um... So figure himself, tighten all the right ways. Um, this does kind of hinder his movement, but I mean, you can lift it up and waha, he can move. Um, a lot of detail in here. Look, you can see kind of all this kind of cool mechanical stuff. You can kind of see the burnt face underneath. Um, if you guys aren't piecing together the spoiler here, shame on you. This isn't a hard one. Um, it's kind of got these cool little gear things here. Um, a lot of texturing on the jacket, which is really kind of cool to see. He's got the Cobra logo. Um, if you haven't seen the movie yet, Cobra Commander is barely in it. Um, after all, it is an Origins movie. And his voice is not as cool as Chris Lada or Chris Adler doing the voice. But um, Gordon Levitt, he does do a good job. I did like him as Cobra Commander. So that works for me still. Um... I know a lot of people are getting up in arms about, uh, the design, saying that this is not faithful at all, but, um, you know, I really dig the design. I think the design does exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, so I will, I will defend the choice for this design, and let's just kind of take a reason on maybe why they changed the design, considering that, you know, you always had two options of Cobra Commander. Um, there was... The hooded Cobra Commander in his various other forms. Um, 
And then there was the helmeted Cobra Commander. And in his various forms. In case you cannot tell, I do generally like Cobra Commander. I'm um, something about this cowardly leader who still stands in the front lines with his troops. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, but, you know, they didn't want to work with that kind of chrome hel helmet because, it's, you know, it's kind of unrealistic was their argument. And then the reason why they didn't go with the hood is because he looks a little bit like a blue Ku Klux Klan member. Um, which is why they chose to go with this kind of in-between. As you can see... It's kind of got this clear skull where you can kind of see what happened to him. It's kind of got this chrome mouthpiece. And I do admit it does look a little funky, but I have to say, I do like it. I think the design looks cool. And so I support it. Um, other cool things about the guy. Um, let's take this hooded Cobra Commander here with his serpent sword. Cobra Commander does look pretty badass when you give him... A serpent sword. You'll probably never ever see this in the movies ever. Um, but he does look cool. And yes, you can take the doctor's evil mechanical gloves and put them on Cobra Commander. And he looks. They actually look more in place on Cobra Commander than they do on the doctor. Um, and he looks truly, truly menacing. Um, I give the figure um, 9 out of 10, but like I said though, I really dug the design and I really like Cobra Commander. So actually the figure is actually closer to more of a, um, an 8 out of 10, just because um, this trench coat thing does get in the way. And there's some funky molding going on here with the head um, just under the chin. It's not evened out very well. Um, I don't know what happened there. Um, I don't really know how to fix that aside from filing it and making it look weird. But, um, so, I mean, I want to give it a 9 out of 10, but really, it, the figure really is an 8 out of 10, when we're totally honest. Um, but Cobra Commander does look pretty righteous when we give him the guys who will be in my next review starting tomorrow. And I should have had this ready. I'm really sorry you guys are sitting here having to wait and look at this. But, uh... Cobra Commander does look like a guy to be feared, though, when we give him his fearsome bodyguards. But, this is Navel 6-7, and...